Okay, so I'm working with one of my Shiwa's Astro today, and we're just gonna work on clicking. So have your clicker, have your treats, and just working on her getting used to being on this towel. Um, you can use a towel, you can use a mat, you can use, I know you're right, um, pretty much anything as long as it's gonna be steady and it's not gonna like bunch up on them, you know what I mean? So we went over, well for this, you wanna make sure that you use your release word and then we'll use our clicker. Um, I'm not gonna say much of anything else to her. She's gonna figure out all on her own and I'll just walk you through a little bit about where my body position is gonna be and how I'm holding my hands and just things like that. So to start off, we practiced, we did a practice session before I started recording, so she's already ready to go. Um, pretty much clicker, clicker and treats in the same hand. Remember to put your thumb on the black button, have your treats here. If you have like a little table or something, um, do that, have your treat bag ready behind you, do that as well. And we're gonna just start off with her getting off of this mat. So I'm gonna give her the release word. Her release word is okay. So whichever word, whatever release word that you're using, just make sure it's the same. Um, I think we went over some okay, done, finish, break, whatever your word is, just make sure it's always consistent. And remember when you toss the treat for them to get up, you wanna make sure that it's at eye level. So don't throw it over their head. Don't like football throw it across the room. You just want it at eye level. You'll say, okay, and then they'll get off the mat. So mm -hmm. the purpose of that is, is that we want them to go away and then we want them to come back and be ready to work again. So when I place my hands, this will be my truth throwing hand. And then this will just be my holding, my left hand will just be my holding hand and my clicking hand. So I'm gonna put these behind my back and I'm just gonna wait, there she goes, she's already on there. Oh, I double click, don't double click, just one click, it's fine. Um, what I'm working with her is just getting her on the mat and having her look at me. So as soon as she looks at me, I'm gonna click and treat. Good girl. You wanna click and treat and then you wanna treat on the mat, okay? At this point, um, for her and for most of you guys, don't treat right to the mouth. You wanna cl click and treat on the mat. So I don't want her to look at my hands. I don't want her to look anywhere else besides looking at me. And then as soon as she does that, good girl, I'll click and give her a treat. I'm not telling her to lay down or sit as long as she's on there, that's fine. Um, she wants to lay down, she'll lay down. So now I'm gonna say the release word, okay roll the treat and then she'll get up and go get it. I'm not gonna tell her anything to come back. She's gonna come back on her own and start working again. So now she hears things out there because I'm in the laundry room. She hears the other people in the kitchen. Good, so she's on the map but she's not looking at me. So I'm gonna wait for that eye contact with me I'll help her out. You can help them out a little bit if you want to just make like a kissy noise. Um, say their name if you want to, but the little noise is fine. Just to help them out if they're struggling to regain focus. Good. And then we'll say, okay. I'll toss the treat, she'll go get it, and then she'll come back. So we have to remember how many things we're asking the dog to do. Um, so for her, well, in this situation, we're asking them to go to the mat, but not only go to the mat, but then also look at us. So 
to us it might just seem oh we just want you to go to the mat and <clears throat> go to the mat and sit there and look at us which seems easy to us for the dogs they really have to think oh i have to go to the mat i have to look at them and then even if you're asking them to down or to sit that's three things you want them to do in one cue essentially As soon as she's done chewing, I'll say, okay, roll the treat, and she'll go get it, and she'll come back. And once again, I'm just waiting for her to look at me. Good. Good. Another thing that helps too, when you put the treat on the mat, their head naturally wants to come back up and look at you, so that will help them too. Versus if you, as soon as she's on if you treat them, oh come on, Astro, chew it up. If you treat them right to the mouth, oh she didn't, come on, have some coordination. If you treat them right towards the mouth, they don't have a chance to try to reset themselves to coming, bringing their head back up to look at you. They're already there. Um, I kind of want them to look away so they make that good decision to come back. So if we look again, she'll look at me. I'll put it down. And then she'll make that decision to come back and look at me. Good girl. All right. Okay. There you go. So I'll give her a couple. It was the end. Um, just some key points to remember. Just make sure that you always click and then treat. If you mess up and you click at the wrong time, you know, just kind of good girl. You still want to reward them to make sure that they associate the click sound with the treat. But um, don't dwell on it. Just kind of keep moving forward. Um, just say okay at that point and then just restart the uh, uh, that record.